Dear advertisers are one of the worst things that happen on Discord. Random people message your members and advertise their server, their YouTube channel, their Twitch channel, or any other form of social media. They can be really annoying, and the worst thing about it is they're against terms of service. They can cause massive server issues and massive problems for some servers, as it can lead to some members leaving the server. In today's video, I'll be telling you how to prevent DM advertisers and how to catch DM advertisers out with my five handy tips to give you, alongside some other tips from some server owners who would give you their opinion on how to stop and prevent DM advertisers on your server. Before I get into the video, I do want to note that you can report DM advertisers to Discord's trust and safety team using the link which is on screen or the link in the description. Also, just before I get into the video, it mean a lot of you guys could go and hit that subscribe button because only about 50% of you are subscribed to the channel. It means a lot and it's completely free and it shows that you're supporting the creator that's making these videos. It really would mean a lot and it means you would get notifications for my uploads. If you want to get notifications for my uploads immediately, make sure to go hit that bell. Also go leave a like on this video, let's see if we can get to 500 likes and also go comment some feedback. Just a note on the uh, video I did the other day, I don't know if I'm going to be doing more of that style of video again because it doesn't seem to be doing very well. So if you haven't already, make sure to go and check out that other video, which is where I did a Hypixel Manhunt. Anyways, let's get straight into the tips and straight into the video. Right guys, so the first tip in which I'm going to give you is by having fake accounts within the member list to detect DM advertisers. What I mean by this is by planting fake accounts within the member list under certain roles and making sure they're online or occasionally talking in chat. Because what happens with this is basically DM advertisers will join your server. They will look for people to message, maybe in chat or maybe on the sidebar, and they will go down and send a copy and paste all the way down your member list. So what you do is you have a couple of these fake accounts there. That way they will message this fake account and then they won't realize that it's a fake account under, you know, somebody that's on the staff team who can then catch them out and then ban them from the server and report them to Discord. It's something which can definitely help catch them and stop them in the process and make sure they're not affecting your community too much. So make sure to vary them in names as well so you can get a variety and you know a variety on different roles as well it can definitely help your server massively right guys so the next tip in which i suggest to you is by discouraging those dm advertisers make sure you have in your rules or in your information channel the fact that you might report these dm advertisers to discord and they will get banned from your server what this means is they might not go and DM advertise on your server because they have the chance of potentially being reported and banned from Discord or disabled or warned and punished in some form because it is against Discord terms of service. So what you do is make sure to have in your information the fact that you follow Discord terms of service. You obviously will report people if they break it, etc, etc. And it can definitely discourage people from DM advertising on your server. It sounds like a very simple tip, but it's something which a lot of people don't think about and it's something which can definitely help you to an extent. It's something which we have done in the past on SFE and it did help us and we do still have it in our rules because we have a lot of different methods which I'm not going to go into completely because we have to keep them a bit hush just so we can uh, catch these DM advertisers still. But we have a lot of methods which we can definitely prevent DM advertisers on our server and this is one of the methods which definitely work the most. So I recommend that you go and do that, go and put it in your rules and mention the fact that you do report these DM advertisers to Discord. Right guys, so the next tip is by getting your members to report these DM advertisers to staff members. Some of the active members of the community, if they get DM advertised, try and get them to report as a staff member so they can get banned immediately. What you do is you can have a report system. We had a report system with the bot Logibot, which is completely public, and you can go and invite it to your server. The link is in the description. It's something which, you know, if you have a simple report system or, or people that would definitely go and report it to the staff members, you can definitely catch out these DM advertisers before anything bad happens to the server so get a few members going to report these dm advertisers set up a report system or maybe even a report channel to report dm advertisers straight away or maybe even put up a little bit of an incentive for people to report these dm advertisers maybe give them a few points on the bot or a few coins if they get proven and banned it's something which can help you and help your server so it's something i definitely recommend you do to prevent these dm advertisers taking over and annoying your members 
Right guys, so the next tip which I suggest to you is by getting your members to turn off their DMs for the server. Now, this is something which is very easy and a lot of people do not know how to do it. So what you do is, I'm on Discord as you can see here. You go down here and you go, so you right click on the server icon or you can go up here. And what you do is you click privacy settings. Yes, it is the same here too, you've got privacy settings. So what you do is you go up here, you click privacy settings and then you go privacy settings, something for everyone. So that would be the server name, direct messages, allow direct messages from server members members and then you go boom if you don't want to and click done. What this means is that people who are only sharing this server with you and not sharing any other servers will not be able to DM you without being on your friends list. So if you get your members to do this it means they won't be able to even DM advertise them full stop. So if you tell your members about this and let them know that they can turn off their DMs, it can prevent DM advertisers from even making a dent on your server because if the majority of people have their DMs off on your server, it's not really gonna make their lives easy for the DM advertisers when they're going around trying to promote their server or site or anything like that. Because if there's quite a lot of people that have it off, they might not want to go through the remaining of the list, purely because of the fact they're just wasting their time if they keep hitting people that have their DMs off because it's not getting them anywhere. So they probably just leave your server and won't touch you again. So that's the next tip I suggest when trying to discourage or prevent DM advertisers on your server. Anyways guys, I'll go over to the final tip from me before we go over to some server owners who give their tips on how to prevent DM advertisers too. Let's go over to that tip now. Right guys, so the final tip in which I suggest to you to prevent DM advertisers on your server and get rid of them quickly is by having staff all over the world. DM advertisers aren't just gonna be on when you're on. Or if you have a staff team that's completely British, then they might be able to DM advertise your server for the whole of the night without anybody even being able to catch them or ban them. So it's something which might sound very simple, something which might catch people out, but have a global staff team. On Something For Everyone, we have staff from the UK, staff from mainland Europe. We have staff in Asia, Australia, the US, Canada. We have staff all over the world and it's something which I definitely suggest you have because if you have staff which are going to be on no matter the time, it means that they will get banned even if it's the middle of the night because DM advertisers won't just stop when you're asleep or your staff team is. That means that you have to have a wide coverage of staff that are on and also have a wide coverage of alts because maybe if you're asleep and your alts are flying, maybe have an alt from another staff member which is gonna be online for that period of time. Or maybe even have a bot which catches people out if they DM advertise to a bot. It's something which is very simple, a lot of people don't think about, but it does exist and it's stuff you can do. And it's stuff you can do so simply and it can just help you massively. So I recommend that you go and do that. Go and get a staff team which has got a full coverage because then they can go and ban the DM advertisers before anything else happens. And those are my tips on how to prevent, stop and discourage DM advertisers on your server. However, some of my fellow server owners are gonna give you their top tip on how to prevent, stop and discourage those DM advertisers from your Discord. So let's go over to them and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. One of the best ways to prevent DM advertisers is to have a fake account on a server which does not have a staff hall. This is so the people that DM advertise would likely DM the account that you have, which you could then punish them for. DM advertising can be a really nasty problem on a lot of servers, as it bothers members and it often takes people away into other communities apart from your own. There's a couple things that you can do to stop this. One of the more common things that I've seen server owners do is just make a channel called Report DM Advertisers, where people can send a screenshot of the DM advertiser, allowing staff to quickly respond to it. Apart from that, if you don't want to have a channel dedicated to it, you can make sure that members are aware of your ticket system by having a bot that allows people to type a command to create a ticket which gives them access to your staff team, who can then quickly ban or mute the DM advertiser. The best way to prevent DM advertisers would be to make an alt and talk in your server for a bit, or just join and see if you get a DM ad. And then boom, you've caught them and you can ban them, like an undercover cop. 
Right guys, so I hope that helped you and I hope they gave you some awesome tips too. Make sure to follow this video if you want to try and stop these DM advertisers from your server because it's the best tips which I can give you personally. There isn't loads which you can do, but it is something which can definitely help. I know this video may seem a bit uh, different to my usual tips videos, but honestly, these are the best tips which I can physically give you. I get asked how to stop these a lot, so I thought I would make a video on it. Apart from that guys, make sure to join both my Discord servers, the links are on the screen. Like that video and hit that subscribe button if you've enjoyed it also make sure to hit the notification bell and comment some feedback anyways guys i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and peace out